unhinged liberal demands producer fire micro, his five-word reply instantly shuts her up. When an unhinged liberal demanded that Mike Rose producer fire him just because he is a conservative, he knew exactly how to fight back. Rose shut the liberal hater up instantly with his five-word reply. You're going to love this. Science Channel viewer Rebecca Bright loves the show How the Universe Works, but she does not love the fact that it is narrated by ultra-right-wing conservative Mike Rowe. In an unhinged Facebook post, Bright expressed her outrage that Science Channel producers would allow Rowe to narrate the show when there are so many other scientists and actors out there who believe in education and science. I love the show How the Universe Works, but I'm lost on how the producers and the Science Channel can allow anti-education science doubting, ultra-right-wing conservative Mike wrote to narrate the show, Bright wrote on social media. There are countless scientists that should be hired for that, or actors, if you must, that believe in education and science that would sound great narrating the show, example, Morgan Freeman. Cancel this fool's contract and get any of your scientists so often on the show to narrate it, added Bright. Now. Perhaps this misguided liberal doesn't know Roe all too well because he's not one to roll over and take it when his integrity is attacked. He noted as much in his response, saying, I'm going to fight back, and explaining why the unhinged liberal was off her rocker. Well hi there, Rebecca. How's it going? Roe responded. First of all, I'm glad you like the show. How the Universe Works is a terrific documentary series that I've had the pleasure of narrating for the last six seasons. I thought this week's premiere was especially good. It was called, Are Black Holes Real? If you didn't see it, spoiler alert dot dot no one knows. It's true, Roe added. The existence of black holes has never been proven. Some cosmologists are now convinced they don't exist at all and the race to prove their actuality has become pretty intense. Why? Because so much of what we think we know about the cosmos depends upon them, he went on. In other words, the most popular explanations as to how the universe actually works, are based upon the existence of a thing that no one has been able to prove, wrote Rowe. As I'm sure you know, it's okay to make assumptions based on theories. In fact, it's critical to progress but it's easy these days to confuse theory with fact. Thanks to countless movies and television shows that feature black holes as a plot device, and many documentaries that bring them to life with gorgeous CGI effects and dramatic music, a lot of people are under the assumption that black holes are every bit as real as the sun and the moon, he explained. Well, maybe they are, and maybe they aren't. We just don't know. That's why I enjoy this week's show so much. It acknowledged the reasons we should question the existence of something that many assume to be settled science. It invited us to doubt, Roe went on. You've called me an ultra-right-wing conservative, who is both anti-education, and science doubting. Interestingly, you offer no proof, he stated. Odd, for a lover of science. So I challenge you to do so now. Please provide some evidence that I am in fact the person you've described, Roe told Rebecca Bright. And by evidence, I don't mean a sentence taken out of context, or a meme that appeared in your newsfeed, or a photo of me standing next to a politician or a talk show host you don't like. I mean actual proof of what you claim I am, Roe clarified. Also, please bear in mind that questioning the cost of a college degree does not make me anti-education. Questioning the existence of dark matter does not make me a dark matter denier. And questioning the wisdom of a universal $15 minimum wage doesn't make me an ultra-right-wing conservative, he added. As for Morgan Freeman, I agree. He's a terrific narrator and a worthy replacement. But remember, Morgan played God on the big screen. Twice. Moreover, he has publicly claimed to be a believer. Gasp, should this disqualify him from narrating a series that contradicts the Bible at every turn? If not, why not? Roe asked. Anyway, Rebecca, my beef with your post comes down to this, if you go to my boss and ask her to fire me because you can't stand the sound of my voice, I get it. Narrators with unpleasant voices should probably look for other work anyway, and if enough people share your view, no hard feelings, I'll make room for Morgan, he wrote.
but if you're trying to get me fired simply because you don't like my worldview, well then, I'm going to fight back. Partly because I like my job, and partly because you're wrong about your assumptions, but mostly because your tactics typify a toxic blend of laziness and groupthink that are all too common today, a hot mess of hashtags and intolerance that deepen the chasm currently dividing our country, Roe concluded. And that, my friends, is how you take down a liberal troll by using nothing more than wit and the written word. Perhaps Roe should start a trade school for conservatives who want to debunk common attacks from leftists. He's brilliant at it, brilliant at it.